to take away a Ferrari front row lockout. Red Bull had a nightmare finish and will start the race from P10 and P11. Carlos Sainz starts ahead of Charles Leclerc. Ferrari were quiet during much of the session but did enough to move through the Q3 while saving some fresh tires for the most important 12 minutes of the day. Leclerc and Sainz were two of four drivers to have two new sets of softs, with first stop in being another. On the first run of Q2, Sainz was the lead Ferrari driver with Russell splitting the two Italian cars. Stoppen had a lockup and ran wide giving him P8 and a lot of work to do in the final run. Stoppen reported power issues on his warm-up lap and therefore couldn't improve. It looked like Ferrari had the front row locked out, until Russell went purple to reclaim his Mr. Saturday nickname. During the week, weather predictions for the qualifying session suggested rain would fall. But it turns out all the rain fell before and during the third free practice session and given the temperatures, the circuit was dry for the start of the 60-minute session. The recent rain created a green track with powerful evolution. Red Bull Racing had a nightmare of a qualifying session. It looked like Verstappen would be left alone to fight for victory in the Hungarian Grand Prix after Sergio Perez failed to make it through to Q3. But the Dutchman had a power issue on the second run in Q3 and couldn't get further than P10. Russell's first pole in his 73rd Grand Prix was also Mercedes's first since last year's Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. I'm over the moon, absolutely buzzing, said Russell. The lap time kept coming to me and it was an incredible feeling when I crossed the line and saw P1. He added, yesterday was probably our worst Friday of the season and last night everyone worked so hard. We were still here at 11 p.m. and not sure what direction to go in. Sainz was quick to congratulate him. Russell then said and then, on, that last lap, I, got round turn 1, went round turn 2, turn 2 was mega, and the lap time just kept on coming and kept on coming. I came across the line, looked at the screen and saw we went P1, and that was an incredible feeling. When asked if the result means that Mercedes are back, Russell admitted that it is too soon to tell, but has vowed that the team will give it their all in Sunday's race. We need to look into it and understand where that came from today, he explained. There's a few ideas we had, but at the end of the day, there's no points for qualifying. We generally have good race pace, but the Ferraris looked very fast on Friday. We're going to be absolutely going for it, but either way, that was a pretty special day, no doubt. Check out the video, share, like, and subscribe.